Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform object-based image classification in QGIS software using Orfea toolbox. The precondition for you to repeat object-based classification by your own are first you have to install QGIS and second you, you have to install Orfea toolbox. The instruction of how to do it were provided in our course. So let's get started. Object-based image classification does not analyze the reflectance values of each pixel individually. Rather, it's clusters the satellite imagery into polygons of similar reflectance values and classify these polygons. Object-based classification consists of four distinct steps. First of all, segmentation, following by feature extraction, training phase, validation phase, and classification phase. Segmentation, it's use an algorithm divide that divides satellite image into the clusters. There are two types how you can derive segments. The first type, if you use in Orfea toolbox, segmentation algorithm. Here, if you go to the Orfea toolbox segmentation, you can choose segmentation toolbox and run segmentation algorithm for your image. In this video, I'm going to show you a different situation. Sometimes we have a situation when we already have a shape file, a vector file, which shows segments, as in this case, in, in my case, where we have uh, field boundaries. Have a look on this uh, data set. We have a sentinel image, which is a mid-summer composite for last year. It means we have, um, we have created a composite image based on all available Sentinel-2 images for our study area within the mid-summer season. And it is a median composite. Basically, you have uh, to, in order to create this composite, you have to uh, add all the images available and divide by their number. Why do you need to do this? It's because uh, sometimes we have clouds, so the images are um, covered by clouds and when uh, this when creating this image composites it allows to compensate for the data gaps so this is uh, such image composite and as you we, as you see this is a false color composite where all um, vegetation is reflected is is uh, colored with red it's obvious that we uh, are looking at the uh, agricultural areas as you can see there are plenty of uh, fields and uh, the task is, is to create a crop uh, map of this area. We have also a, a vector file, which is a field boundaries layer. So it shows the boundaries of the fields in this area. I can make it transparent so you can actually see that this uh, field borders are quite nicely uh, represented. So how to actually how to um, create this field boundaries um, polygon. Well, there are different uh, methods. First of all, sometimes those field borders are available from cadastral offices, and uh, they are also could be used by local governmental organizations for crop classifications and other agricultural um, applications. Well, in our case, what we did, we simply digitized those uh, field boundaries based on sentinel image and this kind of uh, approach is basically quite um, quite straightforward but also quite precise because some of you who might be um, com uh, customized and uh, well aware of segmentation procedure know that uh, it is very hard to create a segmentation uh, in terms of the crop field bond boundaries that uh, would correspond to reality. Of course, it's possible. The settings of the segmentation then should be carefully considered. And then for such uh, segmentation, I would uh, recommend you to use uh, more sophisticated software tools, such as, for example, eCognition. But in case when your area is quite uh, small, as in our case, 
others digitizing might, might be considered. So basically this is our segmentation layer, which we created by digitizing. But as I said, an alternative way would be to run segmentation algorithm with uh, Orphea Toolbox QGIS and see what kinds of results you would receive. Okay, feature extraction is the next step of uh, object-based classification, which uh, assigns statistics for each segment uh, based on the image values. And now we are going uh, to proceed with this. Basically, what we have to do is, is to create um, this uh, statistics uh, for both our um, field boundaries layer, but also for our uh, field uh, training layer and field validation uh, layer. So as you know, for each of land use classification, uh, the input, the necessary input are uh, training uh, data and validation data. This training and validation data in our case was collected in the field because it contains the type of um, crops. I, I will show now. So this is a real data which was collected in the during an extensive field work and you see that uh, the number of classes are two three, four, five, seven, and eight. And each of this class uh, show different crop types. Yeah. So those are uh, fields used for training. They are depicted in orange color and in brown color, we have fields for validation. What I can say for you already now that uh, we don't have so much validation and training data. We have five classes and only 40 uh, fields for validating those five classes. And uh, in the case of uh, our uh, training data, we have also the same five classes and only 72 fields. This is very, very uh, insufficient number of uh, classification uh, data set and um, the number is actually uh, quite um, under present. Of course, as I have mentioned to you, uh, training uh, and validation data collection is very time consuming process. So uh, some uh, of you have to actually uh, decide what is better collect more data or maybe there is not enough time. So it's often a trade-off basically. So we are going to do best we, which we can uh, with this training and validation data, but uh, I can already uh, hint to you that this kind of um, uh, sampling uh, polygons um, number is not sufficient for a good classification. Okay, now let's move to uh, feature extraction um, part of object-based image classification, where for each of these uh, three layers, we have uh, first to collect uh, their um, um, features uh, from the image. So we have to collect each of the different statistical features for each of these polygons. In order to do so, we have to go uh, to uh, Orphea toolbox, and to find uh, zonal, um, zonal statistics. 